Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the bonus reading for my friends Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Together we are going to take a look at the energies for past, present and future. Feel free to take what resonates and leave what doesn't and let's find out what's coming through for you. So guys, past energies, we got the Judgment and the Six of Wands, the Fool and the Four of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands and the Queen of Swords. There was a leap of faith for some of you. You took it with a person of interest because you were kind of convinced that the opportunity was positive for you. I want to say that the judgment for some of you was a surprising opportunity with this particular person. For others, instead, it was a blast from the past. So you have known your person of interest for a meaningful amount of time, maybe you lost contact with them. At some point, the two of you crossed the path again and you kind of decided to give this connection a chance. I want to say that some of you already slept with your person of interest, eight of ones. Others of you are talking quite a lot with them. There is, there was, there can still be an issue about the Four of Pentacles energy, guys. Because I want to say that some of you thought that the connection was kind of positive if we think about a potential progression, if we follow the Six of Wands, which usually can see the warrior ready to collect rewards that can be well-deserved. But uh, the Four of Pentacles can describe commitment issues and I feel that they can be very real on your person's side. So if this person is someone that shares history with you, even before the leap of fate of the fool, I feel that some of you may have to try your best to honor the Queen of Swords energy if we think about someone that starts asking the good questions in order to figure things out because there is something that is left unsaid. And if this is a new connection for others of you, your person jumped in the connection with you because they liked you a lot, but there is a but they may not be interested in a committed relationship moving forward. So present energies, we have the Two of Pentacles and the High Priestess, and the Three of Wands as a recurrent energy, and then the Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. The High Priestess is an energy about silence and intuition. It can be about you because you are starting to realize that this connection is not exactly flowing like you expected for it to flow. And at the same time, your person can be consciously quiet about the elephant in the room, which is the Knight of Pentacles offer. The offer of commitment that you kind of expected and maybe you still expect in favor of this connection. It is a matter of expectations indeed if we follow the double three of ones. The problem seems to be that the two of you may not be on the same page about the future plans for this connection. If it is a blast from the past, your person wanted to reconnect with you and if they got the chance to sleep with you, they can be absolutely satisfied. They enjoy the connection with you, but they want to keep it as it is. They want to maintain the status quo two of pentacles. What about you? If instead this is a new connection, it kind of works the same pattern basically because your person of interest can enjoy every minute they get to share with you. But if we think about the future, it is never the right time for them to commit more in favor of the connection with you. And you can get more and more disappointed. So what are you going to do? Are you going to pretend that everything is fine and the two of you are sailing towards, you know, positive horizons, auspicious horizons, when in reality, things can be way different? The conversation is coming. For some of you, 
it has already happened at least once because of the Ace of Swords, the truth and clarity. We have to talk. It's a grown up conversation about an offer that uh, may not come. And if you are familiar with our channel, you may be already aware of the fact that the Knight of Pentacles for me can become the offer of commitment that never comes because the Knight is the slowest of the four and someone is not focused on the opportunity to transform this passionate connection, this pleasant interaction into a beautiful and trustworthy reality. So guys, future energies, five of pentacles and the lovers, eight of pentacles and the page of pentacles, seven of wands and the magician. The five of pentacles is the problem because it can describe shaky grounds, shaky foundations, and a ton of misunderstandings. I want to say that some of you can feel left out in the cold because this passionate connection, which for some of you can even be a soul-to-soul -soul one if we follow the lovers, is falling short. Your person is basically willing to experience the connection with you only from a physical and sexual perspective, you know? And this may not be enough for you. You would love to work for this connection, Eight of Pentacles, but you will have the chance to fulfill a due diligence, Page of Pentacles, about how the connection can move forward. And at some point, because of the modus operandi of your person of interest, you will see a wall right in front of you, the seven ones, a resistance. Because if we think about the Five of Pentacles, for me, the energy can describe the fact that we can talk with another person, but it's like we are two strangers, we can speak two different languages, and we can struggle to understand each other. And because of that, we can also struggle to find solutions in order to solve problems that can pertain to the everyday life. If we think about a successful couple, if the two people cannot understand each other and they cannot find solutions to potential problems, the connection is doomed. It is just a matter of time. And I can understand that some of you can be disappointed by my words, but this connection is not flowing properly if we take away the physical and sexual side of the situation. And I feel that the Queen of Swords in the past is kind of meaningful, in particular, if this is a reconciliation of some sort, because it's like some old issues are resurfacing and they may not be a surprise for some of you. So the magician is a call to action, guys, but in this case, it seems difficult to manifest a positive progression in favor of this connection. I feel that your person of interest can ask you to wait. Uh, they can say that the two of you should keep seeing each other so they can resist a potential breakup, but you will face a crossroads. The lover's energy, if we think about a heart overhead decision. Guys, regardless of the fact that this connection can be a potential reconciliation or a surprising opportunity, you may be almost forced to make a decision that is not going to be in favor of your person of interest because you can be the only one that is truly and genuinely willing to work for this connection because of the Eight of Pentacles. Your person can settle for the bare minimum. I feel that the bare minimum is not going to make the cut in order for the two of you to be successful moving forward, commitment can be off the table. Some of you can find that out in a honest but harsh conversation that can turn out to be also disappointing because of the answers that your person can bring to the table. I also want to say that the Five of Pentacles can describe the fact that after your choice, your potential choice to end the connection, you can cut communication with this person for good. They may not like that, but it seems, guys, that this person is not able or willing to cooperate with you 
in order to manifest a true partnership. And because I feel that was the goal for you from the start, it's only a matter of time before you realize that your person of interest kind of wanted something else all along. And this can push you guys down a different road. The choice, the decision may sting a little, guys, but I feel that some of you are going to be brave enough to make it nonetheless. And then you will go from there. My friends, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like, and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow. So thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.